good day. I'm Dr. John Dombrowski, Washington Pain Center. Thanks for watching. I want to talk to you today about percutaneous disc discectomies or disc removal simply through a needle. It's really is amazing now when you had looked at lumbar laminectomies that have been done since the 40s. And it was a traditional surgery. As an anesthesiologist, I watch hundreds of them. Now because of technology in America, we've been able to take this down from a traditional uh, hospital surgery to now an ambulatory surgery to now a procedure that an anesthesiologist or someone that specializes in pain can now do. So basically, let's, let's get started. How does it work? Well, this here is a model of your low back. This is the lumbar spine. These spinous processes are what you feel. So this is dead center. This would be left. This is right. And your tummy's up here. Let's turn you on the side. Basically, what can happen is you can have a ruptured or a contained disc. When you have a contained disc, the disc will pooch out like that, pinching on that nerve and causing pain in your back that runs down your leg. Well, there are a lot of things that we can do for this. Obviously, before a surgical uh, procedure, you can obviously do medication management, rest, physical therapy is always important. Seeing an anesthesiologist such as myself getting injections can be helpful. But at the end of the day, sometimes nothing's going to relieve this pressure unless you have a surgical intervention. So now with a surgical intervention, what you can do is uh, going to a hospital or a surgical center is have a needle placed. Obviously the skin is cleaned with alcohol or uh, some type of sterile prep. It was, it's all done under IV sedation. So you have meaningful ver verbal contact always with the patient, which is great. And obviously it's wonderful for older patients too. So this way there's no general anesthesia involved. Basically again, the skin is cleaned with uh, an antiseptic. A local anesthetic is applied. And then the needle is placed inside the disc like this. Through the needle, this guide uh, rod is placed through the needle and into the disc. And then through this equipment, and I'm gonna drop my spine here, goes this other piece of equipment. And basically this is a grasper that can go through this piece of equipment here and come out the opposite end to grab the disc. This part right here actually is hooked up to a bovi or a coagulation machine to go in once you've removed the portion of the disc to decompress the area then we can seal up any tears inside the disc with this device as it, as it uh, pushes out this tip is uh, warmed with electricity to seal that area to prevent any further herniation or rupture also the good news about for these patients outside of single contained disc are central disc disc directly in the center. Now usually if you see a, an orthopedic spine surgeon or a neurosurgeon this would require um, a fairly involved infusion surgery to my understanding. With this particular procedure I could get with a needle directly inside the center of the disc and remove a volume to decompress it again to then cause or bring relief to the patient. And lastly if your MRI shows a dark disc these are black discs, and a lot of people don't really know what this is all about. Again, these can be relatively hard to treat. This disc FX can be a nice uh, uh, modality to treat those particular patients. So again, all this through a one little hole about the size of a straw that you'd use at getting at Starbucks, I think, maybe even a little bit smaller. Um, again, the patients go home the same day. Their band-aid is placed over the puncture site, and that's essentially it. Again, three types of procedures that this is really great for. Number one, uh, patients with contained disc herniation, simple ruptured uh, disc area. Second would be a central herniation. And the third is that dark or black disc. I hope this found this interesting. Thanks for watching.